Good morning everyone, Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. Welcome to my morning commute. Um, every morning when I am able to, I uh, want to talk about things that happened to me in the real estate market and uh, give you some uh, advice and some tips on how to succeed when you purchase a property or sell a property. Uh, this morning I want to want to I want to talk about negotiation and how important negotiation is and how important to get an agent that does know how to negotiate. Um, I sold this property on in Pasadena. It's a condo, two bedroom, two bath, 1,100 square feet. I sold it in Pasadena on this building for 600,000. I was able to sell it for 600,000 because I negotiated with the buyers agents and brought the price up the price the property was listed way under that and we were able to sell it for a lot more than the property um, look like it's gonna sell for but because we negotiated so hard with the uh, with all the offers we had multiple offers we were able to sell it for a lot more so we ended up selling at 600 there's another unit similar in the building that just sold for 615 that sold for 615 because mine uh, was a comp and everybody else now started higher so they negotiated and brought it up to 615 so now in this building one sold for 600 one for 615 so this is the price where those units go in similar units um, sure enough another property comes on the market similar and in like a week and a half goes in escrow I call the agent because I have buyers interested on that property I call the agent and I say what's going on what how come what what is the what did it go through she didn't want to tell me she said she had multiple offers um, and I have to be above 600 obviously I knew that if I uh, want to have a chance at it so I said okay well my client can only do six, uh, 575 I had a client that that was his max and you know we're out it's nothing we can do so a week and a half almost two weeks later I've been watching obviously I'm watching this building um, the property come back comes back on the market so the cans the escrow cancel and I have reminders they, the, the system the MLS tells me that the property came back on the market so I call my client and I said listen this property is back on the market we might have a chance at it um, but let me talk to her. So I talked to her. She said she was in escrow at 630 15,000 more than what the last comp was 30,000 more than what I sold the last unit in the building 630 but the buyer canceled because of whatever reason there was some mold issues and some leaks on the ceiling That normally gets fixed by the HOA So I think the reason why this the buyer canceled is not because of the property is because of the price the price was too high it was way too high so they canceled they said they had two other offers in the backup position one for 620 one for 610 but they moved on bought something else so now she's empty so I said oh my so my client is still interested so um, we put an offer at 575 and after going back and forth back and forth negotiator they accepted it so they accepted my offer at 575 which is twenty five thousand dollars under uh, what the market said the property is so my point is you need to know who the seller is you need to know who the agent is and negotiate because it's not really what the market says it's what you can be what you can negotiate the seller in this case like I said was uh, Caltech so they didn't know too much they were counting on the agent the agent uh, I know her she's um, selling a lot of properties on the higher price range so I don't know if she was aware of exactly what's going on in the building but she accepted my offer at 575 so uh, we went to escrow and then through escrow we find a couple of problems which we knew already and I was able to negotiate even further and got the property at 565 now that's 35,000 under the 600 which was my comp and 615 is like 45,000 under that so my client is excited very happy we are we are way under the value so my point is just make sure you find a good 
a realtor that knows what they're doing that have sold a lot of properties because that's how you learn how to negotiate by selling by hitting your head against all this um, buyers and sellers and you know fighting for your clients every day if you don't do a lot of sales you have no you know you know you're not you're not there you're not into the business you're not learning how to do it uh, you know most of the uh, agents nowadays they saying well you have to offer more than asking price uh, because that's how the market is well it's really not you just have to negotiate that's all you have to do you have to negotiate find out know what's going on and just get get uh, your buyers a good deal or your sellers if you represent the sellers obviously negotiate with the buyer's agent so that's all I have to say for today um, negotiation is very very important talk to you guys soon have a good day now